This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your college basketball play of the day video for the games on Wednesday, December the 7th. We isolated one winner on Tuesday in my premier installment of the college basketball play of the day video on Tuesday. We cashed a winner with LaSalle plus the points against Villanova as they slide inside the number in a 10-point loss as 17-point underdogs. So let's see if we can make it two winners in a row here with this college basketball video. And we're going to go to another a fairly con closely contested matchup, I guess you could say, in terms of proximity of these two schools. We had two Philly schools in that LaSalle-Villanova matchup. Wednesday, I'm going to look at an in-state battle, an all-Indiana matchup. We've got the Butler Bulldogs, 15th ranked in the country, taking on the Indiana State Sycamores out of the uh, Missouri Valley Conference. Uh, interesting battle that we're going to break down here. And let's start by talking about Butler. I mean, Butler has been terrific. There's no denying that. They're 8-0. and It's been a very strong start to the season for this Bulldogs team. Uh, head coach Chris Holtman has done a phenomenal job with this group. Uh, certainly it's a team that you would think is going to be uh, in the uh, March Madness NCAA tournament discussion uh, come next March. Very solid starting five. Keelan Martin's been fantastic. Tyler Weidman, Andrew Krabatz, uh, another guy that's back on this team. Tyler w Lewis, Avery Woodson, solid starting five for uh, the Butler Bulldogs. And a little bit more depth, too. Uh, than the Butler Bulldogs maybe have had uh, in years past. And they've played some pretty good opponents already this season. When you look at uh, the, some of the teams that they have been able to beat, they beat Arizona on a neutral court. They beat Vanderbilt on a neutral court. They won on the road in their previous uh, true road, only true previous true road game this season when they beat the Utah Utes 68-59. So they've played some very good competition, this Butler team. There is nothing fraudulent about their 8-0 and start, you know, and they've been able to retain point spread value even uh, during this start. They're 5-2 and against the spread in their seven line games so far this season, so there's nothing really to dislike about the Butler Bulldogs. However, the Butler Bulldogs now are facing a, I guess you could say, a quote-unquote little brother school here in Indiana State. This is going to be a huge game for the Sycamores, and don't look now, but guess who Butler has on deck? Yeah, they've got the Cincinnati Bearcats uh, uh, coming to Hinkle Fieldhouse for a home game this Saturday. Uh, you would think that game is a big one uh, on Butler's schedule, something that's circled. It makes you think that, you know, usually when you're playing a team inside your state, you're going to be up for it. Is there a little look-ahead potential here for the Butler Bulldogs? That would make me leery of laying 10 points with them here on the road. We know they're the better team. They're the deeper team. Probably have better athletes uh, when you look at uh, the, the, the players that they're able to recruit compared to Indiana State. But for the Sycamores, I will say this. I will say definitely this for the Sycamores. And something that I have noticed, and I've watched this team play a couple of times now, Greg Lansing's team, they're tougher than a $2 stake. They really are. This team is tough. They are gritty. You know, there's games where they get out-rebounded uh, some, in some games by significant margin, but they play good defense, really good defense. Uh, you look at these Indiana State defensive numbers so far this season, 38.2% uh, shooting they're allowing to their opponents, just 27.8% from the perimeter uh, for opposing teams against Indiana State. Uh, and it's not like Indiana State has played cupcakes. I mean, Indiana State has a 4-4 uh, four and four record straight up, but 6-1 and one against the spread. This has been an undervalued uh, team from the beginning of the season. And like I said, it's not like Indiana State's played a bunch of bad teams. They've played some quality competition as well. They, you know, they played Iowa State on a neutral court, only lost that game by two. They played Stanford uh, on a neutral court. They only lost that game by three, covered the number as underdogs uh, in both of those games. Uh, and then in their last game, was the real impressive one. At Utah State, they had a dreadful first half. They didn't play well. You think, oh, Butler's on deck at home. We're down big at halftime, 35-21 to Utah State on the road. You know, maybe we pack it in, we call it a day. Maybe it's just not our night. No, Indiana State didn't do that. They kept battling. They kept competing. They dug in defensively. They got stops. They made some key shots down the stretch of that game. And in the final minute, they're able to pull out a improbable and very impressive comeback victory against Utah State, 62-61 on the road. 
In fact, my sportsmemo.com clients and I able to cash a ticket with Indiana State as underdogs in that comeback victory against Utah State. And I think they're undervalued here. Now, the Butler has dominated this series, obviously. Uh, They've played three times uh, since 2012. Uh, Butler's won all three, covered two of those three. But last year's meeting uh, at Hinkle Fieldhouse, Butler with an 85-71 victory. However, it was Indiana State plus 16.5 point underdogs that got the money uh, in that game. Indiana State doesn't have to play a phenomenal game to stay inside this number. They, as far as I'm concerned, just have to do what they've done most of this season, especially in their last game against Utah State. Be tough, be disciplined defensively, play strong, tough defense, contest shots, battle on the glass. They are a little bit undersized, which is a little concern here, but battle on the glass, defend well, and they could be in the hunt here in this game for a lot longer than people anticipate. And with Butler having that big game on deck with the Cincinnati Bearcats this Saturday, you know they know that's a big opponent uh, that they're playing coming up next uh, on their schedule. Do they put their full focus into this game here uh, on uh, Saturday on on uh, Wednesday night here against Indiana State? That's still something that yeah, we're not quite sure of. So that's definitely something you want to keep in mind uh, in terms of this game. Uh, but I like the profile of Indiana State. When I look at an underdog, I want to be looking at an underdog that's going to scrap, compete, and is going to be a very tough team. And I think Indiana State definitely, without a doubt, has those attributes. And I think they're going to put it on display here uh, in this game. So let's make it official. I picked off Villanova on Tuesday night with LaSalle, taking LaSalle against, you know, one of the top 15 teams in the country. And I'm going to try to do the same thing here. Let's take Indiana State, the Sycamores, plus 10 on Wednesday, December 7th, your college basketball play of the day to give Butler all they can handle uh, on Wednesday night in this in-state battle. Indiana State Sycamores, plus 10, your play of the day in college basketball for Wednesday, December the 7th. All right, that'll wrap up my look at the college basketball play of the day for Wednesday, December the 7th. My next college basketball video will be prior to Saturday. Uh, As always, Saturdays are a huge slate of college basketball. Usually these videos will be for the bigger uh, schedules uh, that that on the college basketball board, you know, a lot of Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday videos we'll have throughout the season. So our next video will be Saturday. We'll break down one game of interest from that big schedule of games taking place. So until then, I'm Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. And as always, check out sportsbookreview.com. Live odds, videos, articles, sportsbook rating guide, bonus options, all available all at your disposal when you check out sportsbookreview.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more. 